Okay, my wonderful friends, uh, you are going to see history change this moment because this is a Triassic footprint of a human being. This is like 245 million years ago, they say. Well, I have a dispute with everything. However, this is a Triassic footprint. And you say, how can you say it's Triassic? I'll show you how because there's a red, red bed right here and a gray clay and then a black cap, which I have. And the gray clay pushed through the red bed and then the black cap came on top. And guess what? The gray clay and the red bed were soaking wet at the same time. This is gray clay pushed through the red bed. As you can see, the red bed, the gray clay of the foot is underneath now. So it was obviously on top, and you can see the separation of layers, I hope. And I can show you the history of this, and we're going to see it right now. But first, let me show you the black cap. This is the black gray shale, the black cap shale. And that was right on top of there. Same structure as that. And that, so you have your red bed, your gray clay, your black cap. And the gray clay pushed down through the red bed and made its own mold in the gray. So the gray and the red were wet at the same time. And this is flawless even with some of the toe prints in here. So this must have come down very, very quick. How this all happened, I have no clue. I'm thinking. Okay, my friends, Roger Mud Fossil University. Get the kids. They are going to love this. We're going to be talking about a human footprint from the Triassic era. And they go, oh, no, no, that's impossible, Roger. That's impossible. There's no such of a thing. I said, well, yes, there is, and I will show you. And you say, oh, how could you possibly put it at the Triassic era? And I will say, well, let's examine what the Triassic era is, and then you will see why. Now, what is the Triassic era? All right, it's, it, here's what it is, the Triassic world. Now, the end of Permian mass extinction brought an end to the Paleozoic era and marked the beginning of the Mesozoic era. Now, don't forget, this is a mass extinction brought about the Mesozoic era, and the first age in the Mesozoic era is the Triassic period. So, this happened exactly at the mass extinction. Very interesting. Now, because I've been trying to understand, how would these three layers come about? They said, oh, you can't attribute it, it's not global. How can you make that assumption? Well, they did make the assumption, they said, no, 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 it can't be attributed global. Well, let's talk about that. The name Triassic comes from Germany, where it was originally named the Trias in 1834. They decided this was a layer on the Earth, and, and um, I think they decided it was global, but they were crushed because it is represented by a three-part division of rock types in Germany. They're making it sound like it's only in Germany. It is still called the Trias by many European geologists. The three distinctive formations are from the bottom up, the bunter brown sandstone red beds. That is the bunter brown sandstone red bed. That is as red bed as you get. Now that is the bottom layer. Then you get the Muscalic and then the Cooper. The Muscalic is a gray clay and the Cooper is a black cap. Let's just take a look at those because I think I might be able to show you those. And don't forget now, this is, let me set this up so you can see, hold on. All right, so here we have the black shale cap, quite thick, all right? That covered the footprint, which is there. And, ex and the little scrapey stuff is from pushing this on and off. That is the imprint 
of the footprint, which is like, it, it w so this was wet. Onto this, into that footprint, before that footprint could deteriorate literally at all, the little tiny suck-ups are still there, whereas when he hit his footprint and went like that, there's little suck-ups in here, and I'll show those, I, maybe I already have. Now, but this is the black cap. Now, that was on top of a gray shale. Well, we're seeing a red bed here. What happened to the gray shale? The gray shale was here. The guy stepped on it, pushed it through, so now it is literally in the same layer as the red bed. But it was above it. And that is a footprint. And that is the red bed, and that is the gray shale. So we see the brown hunter brown red bed we've seen the black cap and this was the gray clay and it's underneath there <laughs> now let's go look at them and see what they look like because this literally is identical to the gray clay all right this is that muska look and that was the gray clay and this is the top of the foot and I wet the bottom so you can see a lot better this is the same as that stuff right there it's literally identical now what are we seeing here you see this gray I don't know if you can see sometimes it's too flashy but let me let this dry up a minute and then we'll come back at it and it'll be a little more obvious but you can see there's a gray layer and that layer has was above here it got pushed down through the red bed and now it's below and has stuck to the bottom it was sticking out of the bottom here now I got to, I got so many questions about this I don't even know where to start I'm going to be looking at this in the microscope in extreme detail because here it is this is the muscolic we know that got pushed down through the red bed both of them wet at the exact same time is there biology in there is there biology I see some I see bloody looking stuff here in this which looks to me like it's erosion it's just eroded clay and eroded mud well and then they say it's a mass extinction layer which is exactly what I've been studying really is when the great global flood did occur and this is mud or whatever it is all over the earth because this is in Connecticut they're talking about this stuff in Europe now and they're also talking about 45 million years I'm talking about 45 seconds <laughs> well, let's go 45 minutes give them a break now I don't know what else to say and the shale is this here is the same this is exactly what I showed you that's a shale. This is a black cap. He's right there. All right, now, so we have this, and we know that this, well, I, I'm, I'm going with the fact that it's, it seems like it was global to me. It's here in Connecticut. It was all over, and they said, but the, everybody poo-pooed him. Well, what is this? Why, is those, why are those three materials in that layer like that, and why were they all wet at the same time? This is very perplexing. I opened a lot of doors. I didn't close any doors. I, I like to close cases, and I just opened a batch of them, man. A batch of them. And the way they date the Earth is by layers. They say, oh, this layer happened a million years, and that layer is this and that. No, now we know that the Earth is biological. And none of that stuff, they, they can't go by any of the things they were saying. we got to start over. And, you know, the only place to start over is with me. Nobody else is paying enough attention to it. That, that You know, I, I, I try to present all this stuff and, you know, very discouraging. The, the, the teachers are the ones that are the absolute worst at allowing anybody. They say, or if it's not peer reviewed, don't look. This one woman, I'm, it's, it's, it, it really is tragic. It's tragic. It really is tragic for these poor kids to have to be told to say something again and really it's because they don't want anything to do with evolution or God and all that stuff too and I'm not don't go deep into that with me I want to show truth the truth is truth it wins if truth isn't truth it doesn't win for me that's the end of the story that's when I close the case 
But right now I got a lot of a lot of cases opening up just from this one thing. And every day is like this, every single day. Okay, my good friends, this is the uh, footprint, and we're going to be looking at it in the microscope in a moment. And um, we're going to be looking at these little dimples that I showed, or I will show, that are I call suck-ups. And what happened is the guy stepped in here, and when he did, this was wet. And I'll show you why I can make that statement. And then he went, and it sucked up like little pockets in here. And they're all over here. And on the edges, they're they're like flattened out. They're not the suck ups because it would it made a a central portion which sucked up. And this is like more flattened out. And I'll show you that. Now let's look at it in the microscope. All right, this is the other side of the foot, and that's the suck up part. And then as we go to the edge. Right here, you see, there's not, they diminish at, right at the edge. There's a section right here at this edge that tapers off from the suction part. That's the sucky part, and it comes out to the edge and it loses it. Because it, you, you, lose, you know, it's like having a seal around the edge, and this is where it pulls up. Okay, well, I think I pretty well made my case. Now, the Triassic era was critical for terrestrial life because all the living dominant groups of the terrestrial pods evolved by its end includes all these different things and it says at the end of the Triassic there was another mass extinction we will discuss at another lecture and that's true we will discuss it at another lecture <laughs> because the, uh, there is so much that needs to be discussed at another lecture that we're going to be lecturing for the rest of my life and I, you know I hope it's going to last longer than you know I I got there's so much that I need to to discuss my friends that we need to discuss it's just it just never ends I mean I wake up every morning it's like Christmas every day I go out walking the dog it's like going on an Easter egg hunt I come back with toes and fingers and you know everything Bones, meteorites that are lungs that still have blood in them. And that is a meteorite. Don't tell me it's not a meteorite. It's extremely magnetic. All right. They, they don't turn magnetic like that until you smelt them. And I didn't smelt it. It came through space like this. Alright. Now. What it is is what it is. And I show this in the microscope and in other sh shots. But we need to re-look at everything. Start up, so we've got to start all over. Start from scratch. Right from the beginning again. And not assume anything. Right now there is so much resistance. To even examining. The things that I show, and the things that I show are substantive. They are not guesses. They are not conjecture. They are not hypothesis. They are material, evidentiary matter. They can be examined. Now, since I forced the issue of getting DNA tested on these ancient things, they know that they can do it now, and they are doing it now. Uh, but everybody wants to stay away from me because I change everything. The stuff I have found changes literally 100% of everybody that has said anything about our history, about geology, about evolution, about, I mean, everything, 100%. Even the people that have been religious. Because now we're going back to Titans and, you know, uh, the gods and all that stuff. It's all here. I'm telling you, it's all here. Now, we have to start from the beginning. Don't just throw everything out. That's happened, and it's been a disaster. I'm here to fix that.